Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? As usual, y'all know I'm on the highway. And before anybody goes to talking, yes, I sure did have this shirt on yesterday for church. But I had it on for a little while. It's still spanking clean. Anyway, I have it on in honor of my Jaquan Raheem David. Popping that blue for my baby in heaven to honor him. But anyway... I had to stop. I just picked up my medicine and I got to stop. Y'all know how I like to begin all my videos with a prayer. Father God, I come to you on this afternoon as humbly as I know how. I come and I want to thank you, Father God. I want to thank you and your precious son, Jesus, for waking us up this morning. I want to thank you for a peaceful night's rest. I want to thank you for continuing to walk with us as we take this healing journey Father God I want to thank you for life health and strength Father God I thank you for food and drink for the body I thank you for a roof of our head I thank you for providing clothes to go on our backs Father God I thank you for the movement of our limbs Father God I thank you for restoration I thank you for peace I thank you for harmony I thank you for worthiness Father God I thank you for prosperity Father God I thank you for peace I thank you for encamping your angels round and about each and every one of our families and covering us keeping us on a daily basis Father God I thank you for allowing me to be able to pray better allowing me to be able to know my worth allowing me to be able to make these videos Father God I thank you for life health and strength Father God I even thank you through my grief Father God I thank you for walking me through my through my grief Father God I thank you for wrapping your arms around me Father God when I'm in pain Father God I thank you for lifting me up when I'm torn down father god i thank you for carrying me when i fall father god i ask you to please continue to put the right words in my mouth father god and let these words be healing for myself and for others father god i ask you to strengthen us father god let us work in your power your light and in your energy father god i ask you to restore us make us whole heal us mind body and soul heal us from the inside out from the outside in father god from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet I pray, Father God, and bless, heal, and protect these children as they go start back to school, protect these bus drivers, the teachers, the principals, and everybody in the school system. Protect them, cover and keep them, protect them from coronavirus, and protect them from any sickness, harm, or danger. Right now, in Jesus' name, I pray. Protect this whole world, this whole universe. In your name, and your precious son, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all, when I tell you, the Holy Spirit hits me so hard. Yes, I be driving. I be out trying to handle business, trying to go to the grocery store, trying to pick up my medicine. But when I tell you, when I get a message that come into me, sometimes stuff be coming to me so hard, I can't even hardly think straight. But God, I thank you. I still thank you. I thank you for giving me the wisdom, the knowledge, the knowledge, the understanding, for communicating with me through my pain, through my grief. And through my heartache of the loss of my child, of my wounds, my childhood wounds, my childhood suffering, and my childhood pain, Father God, I thank you for putting the right words in my mouth when I need you, Father God. I ask you to continue to help this movement grow, Father God. It ain't just for clout. It's not for, for just for money. Is to touch people for us to really, really and truly heal. Father God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I ask you to go and keep each and every one of us, Father God. And those of us that really want to heal, I ask you to touch us, Father God. Touch us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. And continue to put the right words in my mouth. Y'all, I was sitting there and I was, I was waiting on my medicine and stuff was just coming to me, coming to me. A lot of things that I've been through that I just want to share, want to share with y'all as parents. Of not just young kids, but even older girls. Let me tell you. It's not, I'm not putting nobody down. I'm just being honest. It's my story, and this is the way I have to tell it. Y'all remember when I was young. I was so doggone naive. Put my seatbelt up over my shoulder so I'm going to take it. I was so naive. I didn't know nothing about nothing, y'all. I don't want to get on here and make nothing sexual, but I didn't know nothing about no intimacy. I didn't know nothing about no my body. I did not know nothing. So let me tell you this, and I'm telling you this because there's a story behind it. When it was time, I was older when I started my, my monthlies. I was older. And I used to be tomboyish because I love climbing trees, staying in the, we lived in the woods, so I stayed climbing trees, staying in the dirt, making dirt pies and doing all this. And even when I got older, I still was kind of childish. I ain't gonna lie. Even now, I feel like I don't act my age. But anyway, I remember I was climbing a tree. 
I'll never forget when I started my Monday. Ugh, don't even want to think about it. I was climbing a doggone tree. And when I got down there to that tree, I had seen some blood on my clothes. Y'all ain't trying to be gross, fellas. If I'm gross, y'all, I'm sorry, but it's, it's life. That's how we make babies. That's how that's how we got put here. Well, anyway, I'm like, I done cut myself. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for the blood, looking for the cut, looking for the cut, looking for the cut, looking for the cut. I couldn't find it. Man, I couldn't find it. So, anyway, I kept seeing this blood. I goes to use the bathroom. Then I seen it. Oh, you talking about screaming and howling. I was howling like a fool. I was howling like I was dying. I felt like I was dying. My stomach was hurting, cramping. All my life, I had the worst month is ever but my stomach was cramping I was in so much pain and misery I didn't know what was going on because I was never taught I'm not knocking you grandma I'm not knocking your auntie y'all did the best job y'all could do at raising me but when it come to telling people personal things about a woman having a monthly and all that y'all left me left me being naive I didn't know nothing about no pad about no tampon about nothing so I was walking around for years and years using tissue being ashamed of what was going on with my body so I say this, I say that to say this. Y'all talk to you, talk to you, talk to you, to to your to your young ladies and and, and your young your young fellas. Talk to them and guide them so they'll be well equipped in this lifetime to be able to handle tough situations. Tell these these little young girls about their bodies. Tell them that they're gonna have a period. Don't let them go out and find out that but the way that I did and be traumatized. I don't know why that came in my spirit, but I, it's like the day to day that everybody went back. Well, most kids went back to school. They went back here in North Carolina. But anyway, y'all tell these kids about their bodies and about human nature and don't let them be dumb about when they become of age, about when they, when you, about time they know they're starting their monthlies. Don't let them walk around and not know what to do. Don't let them walk around in shame and embarrass about their bodies and about their sexuality. Tell them the right way so they won't have to learn the wrong way. I don't know why that's in my spirit, but God says, tell your children, inform your children of what they need to know about their bodies, about their personal hygiene. Allow, allow you little young girls to be young girls and carry themselves as young ladies. And allow me, young guys, to be gentlemen, to be caring, compassionate, and kind. Y'all don't realize it ain't just a lot of females and stuff that's broken. A lot of men are broken. A lot of men have been through a lot of hurts. They done been molested and don't want to talk about them being hurt, them being beat on, used and abused. It's just as well as the females. This go for both of them. Y'all teach y'all, y'all teach y'all little girls how to be young ladies, how to carry themselves properly, and the felt you teach your young men how to be how to be young men, how to respect themselves, respect, respect young ladies. And how to be cordial and how to be in life, y'all. It's just like we done fell away from that. It's like where the men used to open doors for the women, make the women feel special. The women used to hee hee ha ha, take the women on little rides and stuff, feel good. And the women used to be smiling and 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 know how to be kind to that gentleman. But that we done lost all that. I'm gonna tell y'all. You don't want your children out here experimenting with sex, being promiscuous, doing all kinds of things behind your back. You want them to be able to communicate and talk to you, informing you when they think about having sex. So y'all talk to them. I'm telling y'all because it's my story. When I was young, I was dumb and naive. I learned everything the wrong way and nothing the right way. Yes, I did. I learned everything the wrong way. I learned things the wrong way, y'all. I didn't. I learned things the wrong way. I learned about sex the wrong way. Act like sex was so good. Sex won't hit no nothing. When it finally happened to me, when I lost my virginity, I hated it. I hate that I gave that part of me up. I'm not gonna lie. I hate I gave it up, and I'm sorry. I hate I gave it, that part of me up to the wrong person. I know we're talking about. I, I, it's just something I gotta talk about. I don't know the Lord laid on me to talk, so I'm talking. Y'all inform these kids about their bodies, about sexuality about man and woman, about um, their hygiene, about just knowing they can be open and honest with you as a parent so they won't have to keep secrets so they can tell y'all things that just started school, y'all. They hear about everything in school. People do all kind of stuff now, y'all. I don't even believe some of the things that people out here doing. When I be hearing about that, I say, oh, no, that can't be true, but it is, y'all. Y'all, that's why come you got to talk to your children, y'all. I'm stressing that. Talk to your children about their bodies because I was a dummy out here. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to call myself a dummy. Foolish. An idiot. 
being used and abused, taken advantage of. From this situation ship to that situation ship. Not being treated my, with my for with worth, not being treated of being worthy because I didn't feel worthy. Not being treated like a queen because I didn't feel like a queen. Not being treated and valued because I didn't have no value for myself. Not being treated and respected because I didn't respect myself. I learned it the wrong way. I thank you, my granny. You shielded me. But a lot of things I didn't know. I was just dumb to the world and I didn't know nothing. And when I tell you the world taught me, beat my butt down and taught me. And I learned everything that you could learn the wrong way about relationships, about intimacy, about men. I just learned it all the wrong way. If I could go back and change a lot of the past, I would. I'm not saying that um, I learned from it though, y'all. I'll be honest with y'all. Learn from my mistakes. I'm still trying to learn now. But when I was when I tell you that I was in some of the horriblest, most horriblest relationships that I could be in, I was. It seemed like everything, every, every, everything that I shouldn't have been dealing with, I was. It was just awful. I'm not gonna tell you no lie. But God, but God, I thank you. I thank you for every relationship, every hardship, everybody that dogged me out, used and abused me because it made me better as a woman today. When I tell you that Stephanie Hamilton will be and is walking in her power, I'm walking in my power. So don't come here lacking. Don't come here not knowing who you are. Don't come here not being knowing that you're worthy. Don't come here being a user, an abuser. Don't come here trying to take advantage. Don't come over this way with your negative self. You better come with positivity. Come right. Come willing to be the man I need you to be. Willing to step up. Because when I tell you I'm not standing for that stuff I used to stand for when I'm young and I hate to see the young ladies go through it and I hate to see the young the young fellas go through it because they go through too y'all. It ain't just going to be put on the fellas. It's the fellas go through men go through a lot that they don't even want to share because they be embarrassed. But fellas y'all got to know that's how you heal. The way to you healing is being able to talk about it, accepting it, pray, boy, pray about it first, talking about it with somebody you can trust, accepting your wounds, and moving on. That's what I'm doing today. I'm dropping these videos because I have been through some hurt, some heartaches. I'm tired of keeping everything quiet, y'all. My testimony can touch a lot of people. I was so dumb, y'all. I didn't even know that you had some you peed with. You had something to be intimate with, and you had something that you did number two with. I didn't know all that. I was just, I was just dumb to the fact, y'all. I was just really dumb to it. I, I, I was just dumb, and I ain't lying. And I'm talking about this, and I ain't trying to talk dirty. I'm trying to talk nasty, but tell your kids about their bodies, y'all, as early as you can. I know you can't do it too early and traumatize the kids, but it's a time that you need to sit down and have that talk. Talk about the birds and the bees. Talk about uh, ministration. Talk to the guys about they look, what they got going, they personal personal parts, and just talk to them. Talk to them about protection. Talk to them about diseases. Talk to them about all that, y'all. Please don't leave the children in the dark. I was, I was left in the dark. I was just a pure fool. You see. Just a pure fool. And I went through pure hell because I did not know about my body. I did not know about the birds and the bees. I did not know about daily things in life. I was just naive. It's just there's personal things that my grandma and them personally did not talk about. Nobody shouldn't have to walk around putting no toilet paper in their panties when there's pads out here. I'm just being honest. I ain't no shame in my game. I'm telling you the truth. You should know how to take care of your personal hygiene. You should know how to go... And you can get some Ipro from some Motrin, some Advil, some Tylenol, some from them cramps. Because my cramps was worse than ever. I mean, it was awful. And it was awful to go through that and not know about the birds and the bees. Not know a lot of these things being used and abused, taken advantage of. You know? I'm just saying, you need to know about these things. That's life. Life, that's everyday life. That's how we create it through that. You know what, y'all talk to y'all children, please. I had to drop this message because it was about to drive me crazy. I couldn't even drive my car because the Lord was talking to me so hard. That story came up in my head. Y'all talk to y'all kids. They in school now. All kind of things be going on. The kids go through, go through all kind of stuff. Bullying and everything. Stop your children from bullying. If they the bullies, you stop them from that bullying. You talk to them about that too. Because some of them can be the bullies. And some of your kids are being bullied. You talk to them about that too. And you let them th take a stand and know they work and tell them to go tell somebody. 
tell them to go tell somebody, tell them to come tell you. We're going to stop that bullying because it don't make no sense for nobody to be bullying nobody because God didn't create nobody, no better than nobody else. So that bullying need to be stopped like right now. I am not about them bullies. Even when I was coming up, I wasn't about nobody bullying nobody. And I was the shortest thing in the bunch. And y'all weren't playing that bullying mess. I, that did something to me. It really did. So we're going to stop that. The kids in school, God, I ask you to cover and keep them like only you can. The teachers, the principals, everybody in the school system, the bus drivers, everybody, y'all. God, I ask you to watch over and protect them like never before, y'all. I know I went deep. I know I got a little, 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 it seemed like it was a little, um, a little, a little, talk a little nasty, but it's life. Talk to your kids. Talk to your teenagers. It ain't never too late to try to pull them in, reel them in, and get them right. Talk to them, y'all. Talk to them. Talk to them. It's very important to talk about, talk about your sexual, sexual health being safe and birth control and anything you need to talk to them about. Talk to them about all that. If you don't want to be no grandmas at an early age, once I want your kids catching no germs and then they can be running to the health department, talk to your children. Don't let them walk around being not even lost because it ain't no good feeling and finding out the crazy way. You know, but I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I had to go so hard, but I had to do what I had to do. And I'll probably be dropping another one later. Maybe not. But anyway, I'm going to go get some more soap supplies so I can go make a good cleansing soap and a good protection soap. Anyway, I love you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care. And I'm still running my thing. I'm still running my gift thing, but I got to give up my gift now. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be honest. I really think, think that, um, Ham might have won it, but I don't know between her and my auntie, Judy. Might have to just give both of them a gift. But anyway, this is how it works. When y'all go and like, when you share my videos, make sure your people are liking or subscribing. And make sure they are sharing. Make sure they go in the comment section and say that such and such, John or Jan, say that they, they the ones, they seen the videos through them sharing it. And say that let me know that they the ones that liked it or they the ones subscribe so that I can know that comes from you. That's how you win. You got to get the most people that's liking and subscribing and sharing. It don't matter either one. I don't matter. It don't matter which one they do. If they don't feel like they want to subscribe, that's on them. They don't feel like they want to like, that's on them. But they got to do one of the two. And make sure they're putting in the comment section that such and such. They, they seen it on such and such page. That's how you win, y'all. We got to do it right because I can't give out the gifts if it's not done right. Well, anyway, it's starting now. Today, Monday, it's another week. So, y'all go ahead and do what you got to do. I got to go ahead and I'm glad I thought about it. Get my little gift, gift, um, my little gift basket together. It's not going to be much, but it's going to be something. And I'm going to show you what it is. I'm going to give out both of them because I don't know exactly which one got me to subscribe to the likes. But y'all make sure that I'm getting those likes, those subscriptions, and those shares. And make sure that. I know that it all came from you, that you started the chain. And then we'll go on the next week and so on and so forth. Anyway, y'all, like, share, subscribe. Love y'all, love y'all, love y'all to the moon back. Love you, Jaquan. Love you, baby. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Thank you, God and Jaquan for pushing me. Mwah, 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 mwah.